Hello, my name is Malcolm X. I was born on May 19, 1925 in Omaha, Nebraska, and given the name Malcolm Little. I moved to Lansing, Michigan around the age of three, and lost my dad at the age of six, hit by a streetcar, possibly murdered by whites. In 1939, my mom was sent to an insane asylum, so me and my siblings had to live in foster homes or with family members. As I said before, our family was so poor that we would eat the whole out of a donut. Some pretty significant events in my life that made me who I am today include being constantly harassed by white supremacists and the Ku Klux Klan because my father was a supporter of the black nationalist leader Marcus Garvey and our house was burned down when I was four. I excelled in school but lost interest after my 8th grade teacher told me I should be a carpenter instead of a lawyer. I was involved in a lot of petty criminal activities as a teen, developing into a street hustler, drug dealer, and gang leader. While in prison in 1952 for stealing, I underwent a conversion, joining the Nation of Islam, an African American movement which combines elements of Islam with black nationalism. Later, I had a falling out with leaders and left the nation in 1964. On my pilgrimage to Mecca, I underwent a second conversion, embracing the thoughts and ideals of Sunni Islam. My goals in life are to express the pent up anger, frustration, and bitterness of us African Americans. I want to become more active in widespread civil rights protests. But in general, my biggest goals are to make society better, fight for racial equality, and express concepts of racial pride in black nationalism. Some of my accomplishments include founding the Organization of Af Afro-American Unity, moving from civil rights to human rights in general, becoming Minister of Temple No. 7 in Harlem, one of the largest and most prestigious temples in the nation, and having Elijah Muhammad name me National Representative of the Nation of Islam. Some methods I have used to advocate for these things include speaking out a lot in public and using my important post in the Nation of Islam to speak up. This documentary, narrated by Malcolm X, was filmed in 1963. He was assassinated on February 21st, 1965, in Manhattan, New York, shot by Thomas Hagen, although details surrounding his death are cloudy. The things Malcolm X advocated for, in a sense, still exist in today's world. Racism, although not as horrible now as then, still exists in some places and many people still advocate for racial pride in black nationalism. Created using Powtoon.